Hello. So, these are fictional men I like that make people think that my taste is rancid. I thought I would share with the class. Am I looking forward to this? Uh, yes. Am I looking forward to the reception? Um, the attention, yes. Um, what people will start thinking of me. Yes, because I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud that I'm a fool. And we're gonna start tame. We're gonna start tame. And then we're going to start escalating until we get to the worst one. And the worst one was originally going to be a certain someone. But then I was like, oh, I need to add one more bitch to this. That's definitely worse. Anyway, so first of all, starting very tame. This is a man everybody likes. Literally everyone likes Dazai. I can't think of a single person who was put on this earth who has not looked at Dazai and gone, damn. That's a pretty man. That's a pretty man. At the very least, they have to be like, okay, that is a lovely man. That is a beautiful man right there. Like, he's gorgeous. Dazai, very, very common man for people to be like, oh, this is, this is a great, lovely, lovely man. I am attracted to this man. But I think we forget sometimes that he's fucking insane. And I think we should talk about that more. I mean, he's been through it. Like, if I joined the mafia when I was 13, I think I'd be insane too. But, um, well, oh, this poor guy, <laughs> this poor fucking guy. Oh, he also doesn't bathe. Can we talk about how he doesn't fucking bathe? He smells like rancid ass. And honestly, I'm okay with it. Look how beautiful he is. Gorgeous. Lovely. I'd kill myself with him for real. Um, so this was my first. He, he was my first ever time in my entire life that I had like feelings. I remember I was like nine years old, <laughs> but he was my first crush ever. And I remember seeing him for the very first time and I was like, whoa, whoa, what, what is this doki doki in my moon? And what the fuck? <laughs> Ew, that was so bad. That was cringe. Okay. <laughs> this, this guy, this fucking guy, he comes out on screen first scene where, that he's in in the show other than like the little beginning part where he's just like ha 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 i'm gonna kill that teacher guy he yeah, yeah. Uh, and you think he's like a big bad guy and then he's just like a kid um it's like the first scene where he shows up and then he goes up to koro sensei and he's like let me shake your hand teach and then he like fucking breaks it and i'm like why did that make me feel things no i'm sorry just the power the power the power on this man Bruh. <laughs> I feel like anyone whose first crush in like any shows or anything was karma, anyone whose first crush was karma, you are a loser. You're a fucking loser. And you either liked how fucking lame he was when he'd like get embarrassed, and I love that too. He's so fucking cute. Or, and or, you are stupid lame and you want to be called stupid and lame you want to be treated like you're stupid and lame you want to be put down for being stupid and lame and i agree with you because i do too fuck end my life now now we're starting to escalate a little bit of now i want to i want to emphasize that i'm not talking about will here I'm not talking about Will. And I know physically, yes, that is Will. However, I am not talking about Will. Now, I haven't watched Kick High Sensen in a while, so I don't exactly remember what happens. All I remember is looking at the screen and going, humming, humming, oh boy. <laughs> he, he is too, he's a little, like, I'm sorry, just, the, his face. He's, evil <laughs> like ooh. it's kind of ugly in some of these pictures though little ugly <laughs> huge fan of little blonde guys can we get a round of applause for little blonde guys like i think i think we all need to appreciate them more anyway let let us move on from him <laughs> he's the one that made me want to make this <laughs> now recently he's just been like more like a meow meow and i'm not really like ooh, humana humana but Especially like when I was younger and I watched Moggy for the first time, I remember seeing him and going, Ooh, ooh he's a pretty guy. He's a pretty man. That's a really pretty man right there. And then he started being evil. And I'm like, wow. 
I love him even more now. Like that first fucking scene where he's like fighting Aladdin and he like murders the shit out of Ugo and fucking Aladdin's like, well, I mean, Kogyoku technically, whatever. Um, but he's like about to murder the shit out of Ugo and Aladdin's like, what the fuck? Why are you doing this? And then Judar goes, oh yeah, wait, why are we doing this? Huh, I don't care. Let me kill him. <laughs> like, he is crazy and i'm rewatching magi right now and I haven't gotten to this part but like i remember for like every single time i would rewatch magi my favorite scene would always be that one where judar like showed up it was i think it was in Sindria, and like started like shitting himself and crying in front of everyone and screaming like my parents fucking hated me they dumped me on the side of the road they tried to murder me they hated me my life is full of pain and suffering and nobody has ever loved me and everyone was like oh god what the fuck this is so sad you poor little thing and then he like just starts fucking laughing and he's like you fucking idiots i was just doing that as a joke i was joking you stupid bitches actually fell for that huh, fuck you guys for having empathy you dumbasses i love him a menace through and through my best friend Mwah. now um i forget who's next oh i think but <laughs> Now, listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out, okay. This is the karma pipeline. This is just the karma pipeline. If you watched Assassination Classroom when you were young and you were impressionable and you liked karma, and then you watched Urarara, you weren't getting away without this. You were, you were not getting away watching Durara and not liking Isaiah. like you were stuck. If you liked karma, you have no choice. You, you now forever will like silly little fucking violent, horrifying, the most twig men <laughs> you have ever seen in your entire life. Men who can simultaneously kill you, but won't because they want to gaslight you for the rest of your pathetic little life. Now, I think karma would just straight up murder. Isaiah, gaslight forever. Just keep as like a little fucking little creature in a little cage and you're just fucking sitting there crying and his eyes just standing there gaslighting you with a chessboard in front of him like look look at this you see this Th these are the pawns in ikebukuro uh and you you are a little fucking bitch <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i haven't watched your in a long time and i haven't read the light novels and i heard his character is like way more fleshed out in the light novels and i wouldn't know all i know is isaiah evil and i'd like to know more about him because the only content i've ever consumed outside of the durarara anime that was durarara related was when i was a kid i would read way too many isaiah and shizuo doujinshi i don't know how i got my hands on that <laughs> but i did <laughs> was it bad no, I really like Shizaya and I still do it to this day, actually. Shizaya is my favorite. I'm on a tangent. Moving on. This one's really bad. If you know who this is, you know it's really bad. To the select crowd of people who know who this is, hey. Um, glad you're still around in the age of 2022. Um, I can explain. Listen, I already love Konoha, right? But hold on. Are you trying to tell me? that he's evil now? Black and white, majority black, and then he's evil. Now, I'm sorry. I know I am a horrible person because my baby boy, Kano, dead, fucking dead. My, my, my best friend, Konoha, dead. All of them, Seto, baby boy Seto, like fucking Kido, Momo, Shin, Toro, I don't fucking know. They're all dead. They're all dead and he killed them. He killed them and I watched him kill them. I saw it with my own two fucking eyes. That scene in the manga where they all get shot at like the fair is fucking horrifying. It's so raw, it's so scary. And I think he's hot. <laughs> Frankly, I think that th this is a beautiful man. We're looking at a beautiful man right here and I don't, I'm 
Listen, I'm not proud. I'm not proud. I've never been proud and I don't think I'll ever be proud. We- we can't all be normal. Some of us are born different. Listen, I think it's cause I'm neurodivergent. <laughs> that is- that's why. Mm-hmm. I'm mentally ill. You can't blame me for finding a snake hot. Like, you can't. Okay, anyway. Time to move on to number one, who I feel like Kuroha is, like, objectively worse, but whenever I look at this character, my first thought is, oh boy, I'm a horrible person for liking this man and finding him very extremely attractive. Oh, I'm horrible. I, um... <laughs> okay, like, so, fun little tidbit. I, there was a point in my life where I was so obsessed with this man that <laughs> one day, <laughs> So, okay, my grandma, <laughs> my grandma comes up to me and she's like, hey, um, I have nothing to make right now. Uh, would, do you want me to make you something like, like, uh, crochet sewing? I don't know what the difference is. I didn't go to school. I like Fyodor, of course I didn't. He's like, okay, do you want, do you want this little present? I can make you a little present. And I'm like, oh, cool. Um, do you know how to make hats? <laughs> So she makes me the Fyodor hat. In case you think I'm lying, picture on screen. I have a Fyodor hat in my house and my grandmother made it for me. I hope she never finds out who this guy is. She wouldn't care. <laughs> she wouldn't care. <laughs> she doesn't care. Um, but yeah, he is um, evil, evil, evil. You probably know who this man is. If you don't know who this man is, watch Bungo Stray Dogs, read the manga. He's, okay, can we start with the hair? I love characters that have hair like that. Usually they're very scruggly, but also it's just like, look, look at the manga panel right there. Is that not beautiful hair? Those eyes, that, those lovely, lovely lips. He can play the cello. He can play the cello. He plays the cello. Also, I might be crazy for this. I might be insane, but can we talk about that accent in the English stuff? <laughs> he literally strapped bombs to children. Kunikita had to fucking deal with that. Do you know what that is for Kunikita to deal with? And I love Kunikita. Kunikita was like my favorite character for like such a long time. And then my favorite character being Kunikita for literal years. And then Fyodor appears and I'm like, oh fuck. Well, <laughs> this man literally goes against everything my favorite character loves and lives for and stands for and goes against his very strong moral compass and literally strap bombs to children. But I think I like him. <laughs> also purple, purple, purple. I feel like the color purple is just the criminal for like most of this because purple is like the world's hottest color. It's the world's hottest color. I'm con very convinced it's beautiful. Can we talk about those eyelashes? Those lovely, lovely lashes. Now I don't love the animation style in like season three, but those, those lashes, they, they did something there. By the way, can we talk about season four? Because I'm so excited to see Mushi. Mushi's my favorite character in all of Mungo Stray Dogs, by the way. Who was also very negatively affected by Fyodor, so I don't know why I fucking like this guy. <laughs> like, dude, he's same situation as Dazai. He doesn't fucking bathe either. Big fan. Big fan of evil men. I'm a huge fan of men who would gaslight me. Huge fan of this fucking rat man. Like, I love him so much. I don't know what ha what will happen in Bungo Stray Dogs. Uh, genuinely, I hope he dies at the end and I will still love him even in death. I want to see him die. Like, that's like a lot of the characters I like who are like fucking evil like this. Like, I want them to die. <laughs> like, I view them in like the same, oh god, Wow, that's really fucked up, but also it's a little hot uh, because it instills fear. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. I simply, I, men like this are like going 
on a roller coaster. The thrill is insane. And at any time that ro it's like going on a really fucking rickety roller coaster. It can break at any time and you could fucking die. And you're moving at the highest speeds you've ever moved in your entire life. You could die at any fucking second. And the thrill is like, arousing if you like any of these men i think you have a right to free therapy because that's not normal <laughs> you're not normal go seek fucking help i'm fine though